Assalamualaikum everyone. Hello, hello, hello. 大家好，我呢个，안녕하세요，こんにちは，สวัสดีค่ะ，มาบูฮัย。Welcome back to Solo Channel. Today we are going to learn Unit Fourteen. A ringgit saved is a ringgit earned. We are going to do reading activity using English Year Six textbook page hundred thirty seven. Pada hari ini kita akan belajar unit empat belas. Kita akan lakukan aktiviti membaca dengan menggunakan buku teks bahasa Inggeris tahun enam muka surat seratus tiga puluh tujuh. These are the objectives in today's lesson. Alright, now let's read our vocabulary today together. Sekarang mari kita baca kosakata kita pada hari ini bersama-sama. The first one pertamanya tips. Petua memandangkan ada S di belakang bermaksud petua petua tips petua petua. Next seterusnya saving money menyimpan duit saving money menyimpan duit. Good advice nasihat yang bagus. Good advice nasihat yang bagus. Times of need, ketika diperlukan. Times of need, ketika diperlukan. Spend less, kurangkan berbelanja atau berjimat. Spend less, kurangkan berbelanja atau berjimat. Public transportation, pengangkutan awam. Public transportation, pengangkutan awam. Branded items, barang-barang berjenama. Branded items, barang-barang berjenama. Homemade food, makanan yang dimasak sendiri di rumah atau kita sebut bekal, bawa bekal. Homemade food, makanan yang dimasak sendiri di rumah atau kita sebut bekal. Shop wisely, membeli belah dengan bijak. Shop wisely, membeli belah dengan bijak. Compare prices, bandingkan harga. Compare prices, bandingkan harga. Promotional offers, tawaran promosi. Promotional offers, tawaran promosi. Put aside some money, asingkan sebahagian. Do it. Put aside some money. Asingkan sebahagian. Do it. Charity purposes. Tujuan kebajikan. Charity purposes. Tujuan kebajikan. Prepare a budget. Sediakan budget. Prepare a budget. Sediakan budget. And the last one dan yang terakhir, short and long term goal. Matlamat jangka pendek dan panjang. Short and long term goal. Matlamat jangka pendek dan panjang. Exercise 1. Encik Hakimi is sharing tips on saving money with pupils of 6 robotics. Encik Hakimi sedang berkongsi petua-petua untuk menyimpan duit dengan murid-murid 6 robotik. Well, let's read this together. Mari kita baca bersama-sama. The saying, save for a rainy day, is a good advice to follow. This means that you need to save money for use in times of need. Here are four tips on how you can save money. 1. Spend less. A. Use public transportation. Ride a bicycle or walk to school. This will not only help you save your money, but it will also keep you healthy. B. Avoid buying branded items. C. Bring homemade food to school. 2. Shop wisely. A. Bring only enough money to pay for the items on your shopping list. B. Compare prices. C. Look for promotional offers or vouchers. And D. Buy only things that you need and not what you want. 3. Put aside some money. 
A. Practice saving money on a daily basis. B. Save for charity purposes. 4. Prepare a budget. A. Keep track of how much you have spent. B. Decide what you want to do with your savings based on short and long term goals. Exercise 2. Answer the questions correctly. Sekarang sila jawab soalan berikut dengan betul. Good luck! Sama percaya! One. What are the benefits of walking or riding a bicycle to school? Apakah faedah berjalan atau berbasikal ke sekolah? We can save our money and it will also keep us healthy. Kita boleh menyimpan duit dan juga boleh menjadikan kita sehat. 2. What is the difference between needs and wants? Apakah perbezaan antara needs, iaitu keperluan, dan juga wants, kehendak? Needs are something necessary, but wants are something unnecessary. Keperluan adalah sesuatu yang sangat-sangat diperlukan, seperti kasut sekolah, baju sekolah, tetapi kehendak adalah sesuatu yang tidak diperlukan tapi kita mahukan ia. Contoh, jam tangan. Kalau tak ada pun, tak apa. 3. Bring only enough money to pay for the items on your shopping list. Do you agree? State your reason. Bawa duit yang secukupnya untuk bayar barang-barang di dalam senarai beli belah kamu. Adakah kamu bersetuju? Nyatakan alasan kamu. Yes, this is to avoid us from buying unnecessary things which are not included in the shopping list. Jawapannya, ya. Yeah. Ini untuk mengelakkan kita daripada membeli barang-barang yang tiada dalam senarai beli belah kita dan barang-barang ini juga tidak diperlukan. And the last one dan yang terakhir, for list your short and long term goals. Senaraikan matlamat jangka pendek dan matlamat jangka panjang kamu. Untuk soalan ini, jawapannya terpulang kepada kamu. Tetapi untuk jawapan saya... My short-term goal is to buy few additional exercise books and my long-term goal is for the expenses needed when I further my study. Matlamat jangka pendek saya adalah untuk membeli beberapa buku latihan sebagai tambahan untuk sedia ada dan matlamat jangka panjang saya pula adalah untuk perbelanjaan ketika saya menyambung pengajian saya kelak. Exercise 3 Complete the tree map below on ways to save money. Lengkapkan peta pokok di bawah mengenai cara-cara menyimpan duit. Example, contohnya, spend less, bring homemade food, use public transportation, avoid buying branded items. Alright, good luck. Selamat berjaya. Shop wisely, compare prices, look for offers, buy only things that we need. Prepare a budget, keep track of how much we have spent, decide what we want to do with our savings based on short-term goal. Decide what we want to do with our savings based on long-term goal. Alright! Well done everyone for your great effort today. I hope you have lots of fun learning English with me as much as I have lots of fun teaching you guys. Do support Teacher YouTubers Facebook group and kindly like, share and subscribe solo channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Salamat. See you in the next video. Jumpa lagi di video akan datang. Bye. I love you all. Annyeong.